Off the mark there. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit. Trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit. Disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Bernard Hopkins' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. A very crisp combination by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. showing some defense with the block. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. Jones has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Roy Jones. And round four comes to an end. Jones's style is flawed in this fight. It's not matching up well with an opponent who's more than comfortable hitting him from the outside. He's standing there and all he's doing is absorbing. Somebody's got to remind him, you don't get points, you don't get credit for taking a good shot. Hopkins is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. Little head knocking with that right hand. Hopkins is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Roy Jones Jr. has taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I could tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Flush right hand to the head. Stays downstairs. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Jones is putting forth a great combination there. Just grabbing on to his opponent. Back to the on, Keep it going. Jones is on the receiving end of a hook. Hopkins is left now getting into the mix. And that's the end of round five. Roy Jones Jr.'s corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Nice, solid left hand scored by Roy Jones. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Jones is in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in from what I've seen to paint my house because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said, and it's just, it's not, it's not making the picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. And he ties up on the inside. Jones is left, working well that time. One, two, one, two. So he digs in with a left hand to the body and then places the right.
right to the head with that right. To the head he goes with a left hand. Right back to the body. Well played, straight right hand. Side and then lands the counter. They yeah, disappear on him and then all of a sudden appear on him. Hopkins is employing one of the three facets of good fundamental team. Big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. And this round comes to an end. Hopkins is just doing what he's been doing all night long. We've seen it throughout. He's been scoring well on the inside. He's been hitting those headshots. I don't know what the answer is on the other side, Teddy, but there's got to be something they can do different. Well, one thing is he has to notice that, yeah, he's staying on the outside, but he's pulling back straight every once in a while. So what you got to do is make believe you're an NFL. There it is! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Listen, Roy Jones Jr. told us all week long, he's not going away this easy. He beats the count. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Scores big with the hook to the head. Jones is getting himself into the mix now. And just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. Watch your this is what boxing is about. This is Second, what battle is about. Here. This is what one human spirit up. is all about. He's tight. He's tight. Jones has got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's... Oh. Did you see that? How about that? Roy Jones Jr. down after getting tagged by that power punch. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Roy Jones Jr. is unable to get up and continue on. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout.